Hey guys, welcome back to my channel EG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create these three amazing background animations inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. Well these effects are very easy to use and create so if you are looking to add some background animation in your videos then this tutorial is only for you. After watching this tutorial you will be able to create some insane background animation just with the help of cool inbuilt effects in After Effects so make sure to watch this video till the end. And if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. As you can see, I have already created these three compositions for my background. If I hit Ctrl K to open this composition settings, you can see the width is 1920 by 180, frame rate is 30 and duration you can choose whatever duration you want because it's your background animation. So you can use appropriate amount of duration and background color you are free to choose any color but for the background one I will choose black color. So hit OK. Now we will choose our pen tool. We don't need any fill so we will delete this. The only thing we want is color of the stroke so I will choose white color for the stroke and hit ok. Now zoom out a little bit and by holding shift I will create one stroke like that and I will decrease the stroke width to around let's say 53. Now after creating this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now choose our grid and guide option and hit title safe action. Press V. So it will select our selection tool. Press R for rotation and rotate it like that. By holding shift I will move it something over here. Hit ctrl D again. Move it over here. Press R and rotate it like that. Hit ctrl D again. By holding shift I will move it over here. Press R for rotation and move it like this now i think three strokes are enough now hit ctrl d again select all of them and hit ctrl d and bring it at the top press r for rotation and we will rotate it something like that and i move their positions somewhere around this yeah now select all of them, press S for scaling option. As you can see all of them, some of them are not properly scaled. So for that what we will do, first thing we will do, we will unlink this chain over here. Sorry. Yeah, now select all of them and we will increase this, this scale somewhere around like this. So if we see over here, it will increase like that. Select this uppermost things and move them over here just like that yep so our strokes are ready now we will select all of them and now we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for vehicle position effect so if i play this as you can see we are getting this kind of vehicle now i'll apply vehicle rotation so double click on it so as we can see we are getting some rotating animations over here if you want to change the speed of this all you need to do as you can see we are getting vehicle rotation vehicle speed over here instead of one second you can type 0.5 but make sure that you are selecting all of them and then make it 0.5 or you can individually set it 0 0.5 0 0.5 and for this one I'll do choice 0.6 so if I see this animation now we'll get something like this yep now I'll create one adjustment layer and I'll apply blur type blur over here and we will apply Gaussian blur and I'll increase the Gaussian blur to around 100 so as you can see it will blur our whole composition and don't forget to choose this repeat edge pixels 
and after that apply simple effect called simple choker so double click on it and choke mat i will choose 50 as you can see we are not seeing anything so to get rid of it what we will do we will select all the strokes and we will increase the stroke width until we will see our animation so if i hit play now i can see this yep now you can choose any stroke you want and you can change the color of of it but for this one i choose blue Just like so now press ctrl y to create one solid background and hit ok and i'll bring it down over here now as you can see we are getting some different things over here so to get rid of this select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as what we call stroke sorry animations and hit ok press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit so we'll get this kind of animation instead of quarter i'll make it full so we can see how does it looks actually now select the stroke animation composition right click layer styles and choose bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss i'll increase the softness i'll also increase the size and for the color instead of black choose somewhere around this pinkish color and hit ok and if you want to increase the stroke you can select all of them and increase the stroke like that now after that select this layer go to the effect and presets panel this procedure is optional you can apply drop shadow effect on it and increase the distance also increase the softness and for the shadow color i'll choose blue color and something around this and hit ok so here yep, this is our first background animation which looks really cool now we will move towards our second background animation so i go to bg2 i'll delete the stroke animation over here press ctrl y and create one solid layer hit ok now i'll choose my ellipse tool i'll create one ellipse over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center i don't need any stroke so i'll delete the stroke the only thing i want over here is this color and hit ok then like this hit ctrl d duplicate it move it over here press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit hit ctrl d again move it over here let's press s and scale it according to you hit ctrl d again move it over here press s for scaling option by holding shift scale it like that hit ctrl d again move it over here press s for scaling option and scale it like that select all of them move them over here Select this one, hit Ctrl D, move it over here, press S for scaling option, scale it like that. Hit Ctrl D, move it over here. I'll adjust it from here. Hit Ctrl D again, move it over here, start to move that. Now select all of them and I'll move them over here. Now instead of active camera, I'll go to the top. Oh sorry, I am adding the camera. So right click over here, new and add camera. Don't change any settings over here. So simply hit OK. Hit OK. Now instead of active camera, I'll choose stop. 
as you can see we are not getting anything because we haven't converted these layers into 3d yet so select all of them press f4 and convert these things into 3d now what you can do in this one view you are going to choose two view now select this and choose active camera and in this one we will adjust these things but before that what we need to do select this camera hit double a and before changing any settings all you need to do as you can see you are getting some options like render and make sure that you are using classic 3d if it's not classic 3d click over here as you can see we are getting renderers one is cinema 4d and one is classic 3d so simply hit classic 3d just like that now select this camera option as you can see we are getting that top field over here so don't forget to on it and aperture i'll choose 200 so if i increase the focus distance so as you can see we are getting some changes over here it will bring out a little bit let's make it 200 and let's see what we have as you can see it will blur out this portion something like that so i'll increase it somewhere like this yep. now what we need to do we need to adjust this thing so i'll select this ellipse and i'll move it over here until it will look blurish and if it's not properly blur so what we need to do we will select this camera one hit double a again and one thing you can do you can increase the aperture value or you can increase the blur level to 200 yep this will look like that and adjust it position from here now select this one you can either move it over here or somewhere around that now select this one and move it over here and somewhere around here select this one like that now as you can see we have not seen this thing so for that what we'll do i'll select this camera over here and then if i see over here i can move it from here to here just like that so i have this thing i'll move it over here i'm not gonna change the position of this one in z axis now select this one move it over here i'll move this thing a little bit over here select this one and move it over here and move it here yep now i'll select my camera press p for position as you can see you can change the position so i'll move it over here create one keyframe over here and go to around six seconds and i'll move my camera on x-axis from here to here if i say this thing over here now you will get this kind of animation now um, we don't need this view over and over again so i'll choose active camera and i don't want two views so i'll stick to one view something like that So now select all the ellipse and go to the effect and presets panel and apply wiggle effect on it, wiggle position. So I'll choose quarter resolution so we will get this kind of animation. this background animation is not continuous it will last for whatever camera moment there is so this is our second background animation now we will shift to the third background animation which will continuous looping animation so for that what we will do we will again choose ellipse tool 
I'll create one ellipse over here. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally, and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option. And initially, let's make the scale zero. Create one keyframe. Hit U and go to around I think four second, or let's make it complete big until it will cover our whole what we say composition. Go to the start, and if I hit play. As you can see we are getting something like this now i'll click on the stopwatch and type loop out and hit ok just like this now hit ctrl k and background color i'll choose white color and hit ok and hit ok select this layer go to the effect and presets panel and apply drop shadow effect on it and Increase the distance up to 20, softness up to 200, and background color I'll choose somewhere around like this. Yeah, this looks good to me. Zoom in a little bit. Hit Ctrl D again and again and again several times, and go to around let's say 10 frames. Select all of them, Alt, close bracket, make sure that you are using 10 frames, right click, keyframe assistance, sequence, flames, layers and hit OK. If you are getting something like this, then hit Ctrl C, select this layer first and this one by holding shift at the last and right click, keyframe assistance and then sequence layers, oh sorry, select this layer first and then this, right click keyframe assistance and then sequence layers and hit ok and i move it over here in this situation so if i hit play now we will get this continuous animation hit u Select, press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose it and hit OK. Just like so. Press Alt, close bracket, not open bracket, like this, and move this thing over here. Now press Ctrl R, create a ruler, and move this thing over here, and move another thing over here like that and this one like this go few frame forwards like this yeah so this is the last thing hit page down button and hit n so if i hit play now this is the continuous looping animation select this layer press s for scaling option and just scale a little bit so get this continuous loop double click on it select all the layers i think the color is too light so you can make it a little dark or you can completely change the color hit ok somewhere like that so yep these are our three amazing background animations first is this okay, this is the second and this is the so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates until then stay tuned